one or two to say about how this race finishes. And the Ethiopians have tactically changed positions again. Wudu dropped back briefly. She's back in front. And now is Petukan Mola, who is in second place. And then you have Medina Aysa playing the screening role to sit directly in front of Beatrice Chepkoech. This is going to be really hard for Chepkoech. It's a very Ken strategic race from the Ethiopians. To the Kenyans' credit, she's done well to stay with the Kenyans. And now we are seeing two races, a race between the Ethiopians and the Kenyan and the rest of the field. Absolutely. And this is really hard because the Ethiopians, this is what they do. And this is why a lot of them like to race in groups because, you know, Chepkoe just left all out alone there. She's basically like a prey that Ethiopians are playing with. And we are going she's to the a lioness. final lap. And this is going to be quick. Remember the record for the African Games at 5,000 meters women is held by the great Mesera Defa. She said this in 2007 in Algeria. 15.02.72 seconds. Oh uh, my word, and that's uh, we're coming on to the Ethiopians refusing to yield the lead. And, and now Chepkoech is being left behind rather dangerously. She might not be able to catch up with them as we approach the last 150 meters of this race. Chepkoech has been left way behind, and it's now three Ethiopians for gold, silver, and bronze. It's a mother who finishes where? It's Mola in front now, but it's Wudu coming really strongly. Yet again, this time it's Medina Aiza. Medina Aiza is overtaking her teammate Aiza with a quick race to the finish line. Aiza takes the gold, Mola with the silver, and Wudu takes the bronze. It's an Ethiopia 1-2-3, and look at the celebrations. They deserve it. They've executed this race rather superbly with great aplomb from start to finish never in doubt it's up here one two three kenya left really check coach absolutely shocked yeah the record holder at a 300 step 3000 staple chase level left to run after shadows a brilliantly executed strategy by the ethiopians they kept switching the lead between wudu aiza and mola and once they went into the final lap and they kicked, they left Beatrice Chepkoech behind and she quite couldn't catch up by the 200 meter mark. And by the time they got to the 100 meter mark, it was clear that it was going to be an Ethiopian 1, 2, 3. And in the end, that's exactly what happened with Aisa finishing first, Betukan Mola finishing second and Mognat Wudu finishing third. Good race by the Ethiopians. A really excellently delivered race from the Ethiopians. 15-0-4-32 for Medina Aysa. So it's two victories for the Ethiopians in the distance races. They won the 3,000 triple, triple uh, steeple chase, and then they have won this as well. Two out of the three medals on offer on the first day, and the battle lines are drawn because the Kenyans will take note of this and come back with a vengeance. Absolutely, they will. And that's now already, as you indicated, you know, on the track alone, this evening alone, Ethiopia has taken five medals out of six available. That is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Well, four Ethiopia. out of six, I beg your pardon. Ethiopia. Kenya have two. So Kenya got two medals in the men's 3,000 meters steeple chase. Ethiopia did get the gold. And now it will be have a one, two, three in the women's 5,000 meters. So that is four for and them. And with that, Ethiopia officially overtakes South Africa as a third most successful athletics. And look at their fans. At the well, game. their supporters, right? They're, they're, they're athletes who are in the stadium to support their own. They're vociferous. And now it's perfectly poised.